Legend Onslaught. Seems pretty easy at first. And then this guy appears. And you're dead. How do you stop that from happening? That's the build. That's the whole build. But you can't just slap on Golden Gun and Celestial Nighthawk and call it a day. How do you get rid of ads? And how are you going to survive? First, we're going to look at the subclass. Golden Gun Marksman, obviously. For abilities, Gambler's Dodge. The Weighted Throwing Knife. This might be weird, but we're using this to ignite scorched targets and with this build we're going to be doing a lot a lot of scorching and finally healing grenade because of course you want restoration now for the aspects on your mark increase weapon handling and reload speed is amazing especially when you don't have any perks that increase your reload speed and knock them down golden gun will have increased duration so you have more time to line up your shot. And while Radiant, if you kill with your knife, you'll get it back. Pretty good. For Fragments, obviously we need Ember of Empyrean. Getting Solar Kills will increase the duration of Restoration and Radiant. Very useful. Ember of Singeing, get your dodge back when enemies are Scorched. Ember of Ashes to apply more Scorch, meaning more Ignitions. Ember of Char... Solar Ignitions spread Scorch. And for the final fragment, we are using Ember of Searing. So we can get melee energy back, just in case we lose it, and create a Fire Sprite. Now taking a look at the weapons. You're either going to want a Sniper or a Machine Gun, because you are killing Tormentors. You don't have to use both though. A Grenade Launcher can work. I recommend the Lingering Dread if you want a Fusion Rifle. The Riptide, because they can both roll with Chill Clip, Stunning Overloads, and Applying Stasis. And for the Energy Weapon, you can use any Solar Weapon. Incandescent is recommended. And if you don't have any, just uh, just throw on Sunshot. You know, best, best weapon in the game. And like I said before, for the Heavy, anything Solar could work. But here I'm using a Machine Gun. And obviously, we want Incandescent or Sunshot in order to spread Scorch because this is a build revolving around Scorch and Ignitions. So make sure you got something that does Scorch. Or Exotics, Nighthawk, or Star Eaters. Here I'm using Nighthawk because I like having one bullet like Joker Persona, something like that. And I mean, Star Eaters is like the best exotic in the game or something. I don't know. Buff every super, get super faster. It's, it's good. For the armor mods, our helmet has heavy ammo finder, harmonic siphon for the arms, impact induction, so we can get our healing grenade faster. Grenade kickstart, so we can get our healing grenade faster. And heavy handed, our melee kills give you orbs for the chest piece resist mods and charge it up because grenade kickstart you know get more energy back for the legs innervation so we can get our healing grenade faster when we pick up an orb and better already we can heal without our grenade and elemental charge collecting fire sprites might give us an armor charge the more we pick up the higher the chance finally on the cloak why the why do I only have two mods? Alright, we're running Reaper and Double Bomber. That's it. Alright, well, I guess you could use Powerful Attraction, but personally, I do not want to be picking up every orb in my vicinity. Moving on. Artifact mods. I'm just going to show some in-game footage, because why not? Flint Striker. Kindling Trigger. Torch. Heart of the Flame. Revitalizing Blast. 
Rays of Precision. What do these mods give us? Flint Striker. Rapid Solar Weapon. Precision Hits. And Final Blows. Grant Radiant. This is going to be the main way we get Radiant. Since we don't have the Fragment. And while we're Radiant. We do more damage to enemies with Stasis Debuffs. That's why I recommend a Chill Clip Weapon. And we also Scorch enemies. Or not Scorch. Heart of the Flame gives our allies radiant when we use our super. Revitalizing Blast, causing damage with a solar ability, beacons, champions, and bosses. Pretty good. Remember, if you're radiant, you can shoot a champion, scorch them, hit them with a knife. Since we're using the weighted throwing knife, it will ignite them. And not only that, because of this mod, it will weaken them. And raise a precision Solar Precision Final Blows Ignite. Yeah, that's basically the whole build. It does have a good amount of add clear, but it won't be as good as a void build on your hunter. And I did make a video for anyone who wants a void build on their hunter. Highly recommend using it. I think every team should use a void hunter and a solar warlock. So if add clear is not really a problem and you need more DPS, use this build it's great and really the only problem is surviving because you only have a regular healing grenade i think you should be good with just restoration as long as you keep it up with solar weapon kills you'll outlast every fragile insignificant curse thrall on midtown you'll live to see the adu crumble to dust and blow away uh, unless you suck or something.